Hey guys, it's Sharon Bauer here with Good Lawyer, the leading platform for getting Canadian founders the legal help they need at a reasonable price. Today, I'm here to answer the question of, how do I know if I'm compliant with my privacy obligations? One of the biggest risks to any company is not knowing what personal information they're collecting and what they're using it for, who has access to it, and where it is stored. How can you protect information if you don't know what you are protecting? Your first step is to map out all of the personal information that you're collecting. A data map will give you the lay of the land, which will also help you identify where your risks are. The next step is to understand what privacy legislation you need to comply with. This will be dependent on where you're collecting personal information from. So for example, if you're collecting personal information from the EU and your head office is in Canada, you will need to comply with the Canadian privacy legislation as well as the European privacy legislation called GDPR. Your responsibilities are directly related to where the data comes from. In other words, there is no privacy borders. It is important to know that privacy compliance is not a check the box exercise. As the privacy landscape is constantly evolving, so should your compliance efforts. Companies are expected to have privacy programs with policies, procedures, and processes. But having words on paper is not enough. Training your staff and instilling a privacy culture within your business is imperative to privacy compliance and of course will reduce your risk. Privacy needs to be discussed both in the boardroom as well as in the hallways. If you're starting your privacy journey, start with an assessment. When I conduct privacy assessments for companies, I identify their privacy risks, I rate those risks, and I provide recommendations to remediate them. If you have a privacy program already, including retention policies, privacy breach plans, data maps, consent management, and so on, Conduct an annual privacy assessment, like an internal audit, to see where you can improve and catch up with the evolving privacy landscape. And finally, if you're about to launch a new product or service, prepare yourself like you would if you were about to go out on your first date. Be proactive, put the deodorant on, or put a breath mint in your mouth. For privacy, when you're launching a new product or service, Conduct a privacy impact assessment. That is one way for you to be proactive. Many privacy regulations require you to assess what impact your product or service will have on individuals that are disclosing their personal information to you. I have helped many companies conduct PIAs. The key is to be proactive and do the PIA before you launch as you will likely need to change some data flows or the design. It'll be cheaper and faster for you to do this before launch rather than after. That's all for today. If you like this video, give us a subscribe, like, or comment. Tell us the type of content you wanna see in the future. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.